Why hello? Welcome to my new YouTube channel, Cannabis Herald. I'm documenting my legal medical cannabis grows. In this video, I'll show you what I do to fight one of marijuana's most hated pests, the spider mite. For those of you who don't know, the spider mite is a tiny member of the mite family, no longer than one millimeter in size. They reproduce very quickly and can, qu and, and can quickly invade a garden. In later stages, they create webs around the leaves and plants. They live on the, under on the underside of leaves. The first sign of their presence is stippling. Stippling is a discoloration of the leaf, a little yellow spot caused by the plant no longer being able to photosynthesize there. Spider mites also leave behind a sticky honey-like substance. They came in with my last crop. Here's a picture of stippling. The early stage of the spider mite infestation. Notice the little yellow spots on the top of the leaves. It's important to spot them very early because they can quickly destroy your crop. I failed to spot them last time and they managed to kill three of my plants. They had come in with a critical kush that I just showed you. I had ordered Persimilus back then, a predator that eats spider mites and their eggs. Expensive, a lot of maintenance, because you have to keep your grow environment at over 60% relative humidity. And they weren't that effective with the scale of the, inf uh, of the infestation I had. So this time around, when they reinvaded my crop, I tried using cayenne and water. Wasted a few spray bottles until I realized you have to filter the cayenne through a cheesecloth or else it clogs a nozzle. I kept the infestation under control. Didn't get rid of them though, but by spraying two or three times a week, it kept them constrained to the lower parts of the plants. I use around one teaspoon of cayenne per 500 milliliters of water and let it sit overnight and then strain it through a cheesecloth and apply it to the plants. I use cayenne and water until the early flowering stage then switched to garlic and water. I don't want to smoke the cayenne. It's been working well getting towards harvest so trying not even to spray them with the garlic too much. I thought I had gotten rid of them with, with the last spray when they invaded two flower tops. I destroyed the, re the webs with the garlic spray. You can see remnants of the web on this bud.
but that was about a week ago last time I sprayed and they've come back not as aggressively they haven't invite invaded any flower tops though but they've come back I'm going to spray them with my garlic concoction tomorrow morning okay so I'll tell you how I make my garlic water but first off you see that painting that's my mom that's my mother who did that when she first started painting quite a few years back quite talented don't you think eh? other interesting fact this cutting board that you see here shaped like a pig was carved by one of my great uncles yeah so I really love that cutting board and the painting so anyway, yeah, so here is how I make my garlic concoction. You'll basically need some garlic. Uh, I try to use organic garlic, but uh, I didn't pick up any this time, so uh, I, this is just regular garlic. You'll need a food processor or a blender. Uh, you'll need a spray bottle. You'll need cheesecloth and finally you'll need a funnel and some water. I just use regular uh, regular uh, tap water. Okay, so I use a whole head of garlic for 600 milliliters of water. So I began by peeling the garlic. I remove all of the skin and then oh, and then after that I cut off the tips Also helps if you're having trouble removing the skin for those who don't cook. So yeah, so I found garlic to be much cheaper than the predators. The predators probably do work if you get it early enough in an infestation. But I think last crop I was just too late with the predators. And also I wasn't aware that the predators I wasn't aware the predators uh, enjoyed high humidity. The persimmonus anyway enjoys high humidity. So uh, it took me a while before uh, I found that out. So it was a low RH in my grow tent. And uh, yeah, it took me a while and the spider my problem was just getting worse and the predators weren't reproducing and yeah, it was terrible. So uh yeah. So this time around with the garlic working fine. Also, it's an interesting to know that uh, spider mites detest high humidity levels. So if you have a spider mite problem and you can afford it because you have good ventilation, uh, I would suggest keeping the RH levels higher than usual. And also, they do not like cooler temperatures.
it made a big difference when I started having cooler temperatures. Uh, yeah. So basically, spider mites do not like uh, humidity and cold. So keep that in mind when dealing with them. Okay, so just about finished cutting the tips off the garlic. Okay, so then what I do, is I put it in the food processor. Chop it up. So I chop it up nice and fine. Processor. I add around 600 milliliters of water. Blend it again with the water this time. See, the water gets all whitish. You can see there. Okay. So that's basically it to make the garlic concoction. Now I let it sit overnight. And I'm going to be spraying my plants tomorrow morning. So, see you tomorrow morning. Okay, so it's the morning. The garlic concoction has been sitting overnight. So now, it is time to go and strain it through the cheesecloth. So just take a piece of cheesecloth. Almost out, I'll have to get more soon. I cut it in a square about this size for my funnel. Put it in the funnel. Well, actually, I fold it first before I put it. Filters more of the stuff out. So I fold it. And I pour it.
Okay, so I'll straight it and I'll get back to you. Okay, so I've already sprayed two of my plants. I'm going to spray another one to show you how. Okay, so here's how you apply the garlic concoction. You want to try and spray under the leaves. That's where the spider mites live. So you give them a good spraying like that. Then on top, just make sure they're well covered. Try to get all the areas. So yeah, that's basically how I apply my garlic solution. So, if you enjoy the video, like it, don't be shy to subscribe to my channel, and make sure to check out my grow, my grow diaries. So, see you next time. Bye.